ek, ek denk die, die betro, besluiting betrokken te raak is voor ons uh, makkelijk enig geweest, ons, ons as een familie is groot, groot VP uh, ondersteun is al die jare, um, dit was vir ons baie hard om te sien wat aan die gebeur was by WP, en dit was die idee dat WP sal van krot gaan, was vir ons onvaarbaar, so uh, ons het toe ons sien het, daar is een transaksie wat, toe, toe, die oomlik wat het wat gesien het, dat daar moeilike transaksie was dus het ons, het ons contact gemaakt met de Rian, hy, hy was op die stadium administrateer um, ons het toe vinnig uitgevind dat daar meer as 10 ander partij betrokken was, en gedink as ander mense bereid is om WP te red, hoef ons nie, dit is nie Ja, dit was nie financiële belegging nie, ons het net seker maak WP word gered, die ander transacties het allemaal platgevallen, of die ander partij het allemaal, het allemaal weggeloop, en ons is al partij wat oorgebel, ons het de stuur het daarbij vir ons genader het, en ons weer, weer daarna gekyk het, en die ure gevind het, en dit is die hele ding gebeur het. Dit is vir ons as, as die familie net baie belangrijk geweest, om te sien dat iemand WP red, en toen nou niemand anders oor was, toen moest het ons wees. Dit is natuurlijk een baie groot geleentheid ook, en ons dink dat as, as, WP, as, as rugby ontwikkel, as allemaal wat betrokken is by rugby, die rechte ding doen, om, dan kan rugby, wel rugby het iets in niks aan om, daar is geen ander sport wat vir mense wat met groot, vet, lang, selfs nie starig is, kan jy nog steeds rugby spelen, jy moet net sterk wees, jy moet net iets kan doen, daar is nie ander sport wat dit doen nie, so dit is ook om, en dit is ongelooflik visies, wat ook vir, vir, vir jong mans vooral lekker is, so daar is iets in rugby wat ander sport nie eigenlijk het nie, en ek denk, as jy om recht bestuur, kan dit een groot geleentheid ook wees, en ons is mal oor die kaap, en ons mal oor die, oor die, oor die, oor die, oor die handelsmerk, en ons wil graag dit, uh, nie net wil red nie, maar wil uitbouw na een echte wereld, wereld gehaald te klap. My rol as, as, as CEO, so ek gesê, dit is nie een tydelike rol nie, maar dit is, dit is ek gaan my, my huidige verantwoordelike dit ook volhou, die, die maatskapie, die maatskapie toe leef sonder CEO vir die laaste paar jaar, ek denk nie, dit is optimaal nie, ek denk leiderskap is baie, baie nodig, ek denk die CEO moet met die, met die directie gereeld in contact wees, om seker te maak, dat die, dat die maatskapie goed bestuur word, en die, die compliance en alles recht is. Um, ek is, ek is opgewonden oor die wat ek sien, ek denk as goeie mense betrokken, ek denk daar is, is belegging nodig, ek denk die maatskapie moes vir die laaste vier jaar oorleef met wat hy het, ek denk ons kan, ons kan, ek, denk, ek, ons sien baie dinge wat ons vinnig kan verbeter, so ek is baie opgewonden, jy het hierdie seisoen is amper voorbij, maar ons, uh, het, wanneer begin die volgende seisoen? September. September. Ja, September. Ja, September. Ja, September. Ja, ja, ok. Ja, so daar is, ek blaas genoeg tyd om een paar verbeteringen te sien, wat wat mens gaan ervaar, as jy self na die wedstrijd toe gaan. Maar dit gaan maar oor de CEO, het gaan om seker te maak, dat ons die rechte strategie ontwikkel, dat die rechte mense in plek het, en vir die rechte mandaat gee. En ek denk in die commerciële kant, die sel as in die rugby kant, waar, jy weet, waar ons vir, vir topleiders in die organisatie mandaat gee, om, om, um, om hulle werk te doen. Ek denk, want, ek denk die, the deal does give us options. The, the company is, is, is solvent, it's got capital, and then you decide where to deploy it. So for us as a, as a management team, it's deciding between investing in the commercial team, investing in the coaching team, investing in the player boats. And it's it's a difficult decision. I mean, business always is. I think before the deal, there wouldn't have been an option. I think the option is there now. Um, John is given a rugby budget that he has to operate. He's responsible for the whole rugby program. Um, but everything that happens on the field and around the field is under his control. So he can sign Kipsy, but he must make sure that he's still coming within budget. And I think it's fair to say that the budget's probably big enough than it would have been without the transaction. Um, no, uh, I think um, I think what Johan said in his opening remarks was was the, you know, I don't think us going outside is our is our plan. I mean, Kipsy's just what's it been gone? So he's getting a roasting. Him and the FBI is getting a roasting at the moment. Um, but yeah, he's just so close to us, and that's an important part. And you saw all sorts of problems we had this year. This year, so luckily because of this, deal, we're in a position to be able to do that. Uh, I think our major focus is going to be on the cohesion uh, uh, that we can keep this squad together. Because I think we know how young and exciting it is, and it's just the science in rugby now. The more they play together, the better they'll get. So uh, I think you have to get that we got the ability. I think there might be one or two more announcements, but. Nothing like um, us going to market. And what's what's remarkable is uh, since this deal, and I'm not exaggerating, there've been a, a few World Cup Springboks who've, who've rung up and said they'd like to come, come like to come back, which is which is great for us. But uh, I think our our major project, as you said, is to keep the grow the cohesion of the squad. Kits is a no brainer. A leader, one of us, gone for a very very short time. But I feel like we've got a mature conversation where we can say, okay, I'm saying we don't have a problem at the moment, we have a problem at lock, let's say, 
Uh, so in order to afford that, then maybe this guy hasn't made it and he'll move on and we give us a bit of room there. But at least it's, there's no other agendas other than if it fits the budget and it fits the best interest of the team, then we're, we're going to go ahead and do it. So uh, I'm very, very happy with where we are in terms of the squad. But I, I think I'm going to re-emphasize that the, the, it's not, we, we don't have ambitions of becoming a big big money club. Yeah. It's not It's not a vanity project. It's not continued losses. It's not funding continued losses. It's difficult. To, you, you have to invest in your team in order to put on a, 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 an attractive commercial product. Um, you can't wait for the commercials to work and then start investing in your team because you want to have commercials, your team lose it consistently. So we have to find that balance of making sure that we invest enough to stay competitive while fixing the commercial product. And then once we once we understand the need is a bit better, then we'd, we'd like to start growing that rugby budget along. You know, reinvest, reinvest growth and revenue into the team. That's, that's the ambition of this club.